Hello. Jackie, I have a funny cat story for you. You can all listen. It's so funny. I have a, a plum tree in my backyard here and my one of my cats was outside today and she came came up to me just meowing and meowing, but it sounded muffled. And I look around, she has a, a plum in her mouth. And so she's like meowing at the door. She wanted to come inside. And so she's like walking around my whole place with a plum, like meow, meow, meow. And she finally dropped it in her water bowl and that's where it still is. <laughs> so funny. Oh, wow. Was the plum for you or for her? I, I don't know. I think she was so excited. Like I, I caught something. I thought yeah. I, for, for a second, I thought she had like a little animal in her mouth. It was the plum. <laughs> so funny. She's so weird. Anyway, that's my funny cat story for the day. <laughs> well, uh, I take the girls out for a walk and we scout out plum trees in the neighborhood. And uh, we go and pick plum trees. Awesome. I mean, there's so many plums. Over the tree. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Putting them on my shoulders to reach, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Pretty funny. Yeah, plum season. <laughs> Funny. There's a tree in our front yard that this is something that looks just like a plum, but it's like half the size. Do you know what that is? Yeah, mine are like this. They're small. They're like little oh. plums. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it could just be a plum, huh? Yeah. 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 They're falling all over our driveway right now. Yeah, it's like plum again, and there's like, and then the squirrels eat half, and they like throw it down on the ground. It's like <laughs> yeah. So it's always scraping plum crap off my shoes <laughs> tis the season Jen it's good to see you you look so relaxed um it's a it's all a facade okay <laughs> darn it I know very close though we have a confirmed end date for my misery uh, it's oh that's good oh good so I think it might be just us. I know Karen's not coming today. Um, so let's um, let's get started. Okay. Um, does everybody stand up? Um, but this one, um, my ankles and knees and hips are kind of bothering me. So let's do a little bit of walking um, with starting with our ankles here. Amy is joining us. Okay. Um, so we're going to come up pretending you're creating really high heels and you're walking with good posture. You can walk around your room. Good. Come back. Let's now lift our toes up and walking with our back heels. Really pulling those toes towards you, right? While you're doing this. And now we're gonna shift and lift the inside of our soul here. Up and we're walking from the outside of our soul. We can just walk. And then now we're going to walk in the side. So your knees are buckling in. All right, so I'm back to center. And let's just do um, rotation, full rotation, our ankles and our wrists. And switch. Let's go to the other side. And switch. Okay, knees. Go ahead and switch. Okay, 
hips. Go ahead and switch. Shoulders. And switch. Hands, right finger, uh, uh, fingertips on your shoulders. Rotate one direction. And we're going to rotate the other direction. Okay, it's elbows. Okay. And switch the other elbow. All right, let's go to the neck. And switch. Go to our wrist. I skip that. Hate that. And switch. Okay. I'm going to get my timer going. And what we're going to do. All right. Um, the first one, just uh, go ahead and jog, jog in place or jog around. And then um, you're going to do uh, te uh, 10 of these, right, in between the, the exercises, um, uh, the stand up exercises. You're going to come down on your um, belly and you're going to sit back and jump and uh, come all the way up. And you want to kind of look forward as if you're um, facing an opponent and your arms are up. And then you're going to go back down and repeat boom, to the other side, right? So you're going to do five per side. Um, okay, so timer, go. Go ahead and jog. Jog in place. Jog around. Go ahead and incorporate your arms, right? You can go up and down, side to side, swing them high, above. Incorporate your arms. Okay, fast, fast feet, go, 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 go. Go, go, fast. Go ahead and slow down. Go. All right, go ahead and do the drill.
Get it done and just jog until everybody's done. All right, next one is side shuffle, but you're gonna go really fast. So it's boom, boom, just in place, right? Uh, go ahead and get ready and Go. Stay low. And three. Boom. the speed a little bit more. And go ahead and slow it down to normal pace. Pick up the speed, go, go, go. Okay, do the drill. All right, everybody know that karaoke, right? It's just like right and then back. So if I'm going to the left, it's my right goes first, retract, my right goes back, right? Left, my left leg goes on top, retract to neutral position, back and here, right? So you're gonna switch back and forth. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, the drum. All right, high knees, last one, high knees, let's go. Uh, 
high. Speed it up a little bit. Let's go. Get down. Let's go. Okay, the drill. All right, when you're done, go ahead and take a sip of water. Ooh. Stand up as if our legs are not tired enough. Let's do some more leg um, stretching. Um, have let's see, let's let's do this one where I um, real quick wide stance, squat down, uh, forearm on your thighs. Go ahead and push, stretch out a little bit more. All right, so stay stay here. You might want to um, bring your stance a little bit, um, not so far, but wide, right? Not as, as far. And from here, you're gonna um, think about um, keeping your posture upright, right? Versus like bending down like this. You want to try to stand upright as much as possible while you're doing this. So you're gonna squat low, and you're gonna bring. Boom! See how I'm gonna switch? My hips are facing you. When I'm done with the move, I'm going to face to the side. So look, I'm going to go boom, and then I come back, and then boom, and then I come back, right? So you want to maintain the low squat position here. So let's do five per side together, starting our right leg. So come down, get really low, abs tucked, right? Good posture, and we're going to do our right. Right. Um, and a little bit, sorry. So the uh, my footwork is also instead of here and I go, you know, you're gonna hurt your ankle. You're kind of on the ball of your foot here and you're gonna boom, turn your foot out when you do it. Okay, so let's, sorry, let's go back again. So low, right, one, left, two, right, three, stay low, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back, Ooh. shake it out. All right, go back again. Let's do it. Go down a little bit lower this time, right? So squat low, good posture, and right one, left two, three, four. Five, stay low. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up, shake it out. I don't know about you, but my legs are burning. All right, one more um, leg exercises. My um, mat is very cushiony, so 
it really challenges my balance, right? But you know, start wide stance here, and look. I'm gonna bring my right leg behind my behind my uh, left, the back of my left knee, and it's my left hand that will grab my foot. So I'm low. I'm gonna go lean onto my left leg. I'm gonna grab the foot, right? I suggest you look at one point. From here, you're gonna stand all the way up, right? And then you're gonna squat down and then go back. Yeah, does everybody have that? So it's balance and strength um, uh, on your legs. So get wide, let's start. So five per side, right? I'm gonna start with my right leg doing the work first. So boom here. I'm gonna lean my weight to my left. I'm gonna put my right leg, I'm gonna grab it with my left hand. I stay low here. I'm gonna come up, pay attention to a point, right? That keep your balance. And then I'm gonna go down and then I'm gonna go back. And now I'm gonna do my left leg. So boom, left, I go up. Right, and then I come down and I go back. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Shake it out. Start like crazy. All right. So from here, let's go. Um, to the ground, let's put our legs together here, right? And bring our hands up, bring it up, and bend at the hips, come down. Go ahead and put your palms, like the palms on the, on the mat here, and um, put the weight on your legs, not your arms, okay? And from here, you can go ahead and bend one knee, bend the other knee, back and forth. Right, and from here, let's walk your hands out. Right, come to a plank, take a deep breath, and exhale, and go ahead and slowly lower yourself down. Go ahead and um, straighten your toes and push from your chest up. Come up, keeping your hips on the floor, um, and go ahead and go ahead and take a look way back to the right and then switch to the left, and then back to the right. One again, once again to the left. And then we're gonna sit back. All right, so from here, let's come, um, let's come to our belly again. And I'm going to turn and come up into my um, S mount base here. Can't see anything. I'm sweating like crazy. All right. So from here, let's um, let's turn our body towards the. Oh, let me. I guess. Hey, I'm here. I'm going to turn my body towards my leading knee here. And um, I'm gonna walk myself out boom, with the arm, opposite arm as the leading leg, reaching outward, right? And I try to bring that armpit down to the ground. Good, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my base. Let's do it without using our hands. I think all of us have done this before. So lean forward and then go ahead and switch. Let's do the other side. Good, come up, 
go ahead and um, switch our base. Let's do 10 total. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then from here, let's switch to the other side for one. Go ahead, you guys do it. Just the. Do 10 total. Okay, so now from here, let's go, we're gonna roll, right? Um, to one side and then roll back to the other side. So whatever is your leading leg on top is the same arm that's gonna stretch out onto the mat. So you're gonna lean forward, extend that arm, and then you're gonna roll on that shoulder and then switch your base. So it looks like this, boom. You're gonna go boom and then switch your leg position, right? And then you roll to the other side and then you come back, boom. That would be one. Right, we're gonna do we're gonna do five total, right? So let's go ahead and do that on your own. One. Two. Three. All right, and from here, let's go ahead and um, let's do this. We haven't done this in a long time. So kick your, um, your back leg up and it's the opposite hand that will be grabbing your foot. Boom, here, right? Can you extend your arms out? Boom, and now we're gonna go switch. Do the other side. back. So you want to tuck your belly in while you're doing this. Stand up tall. And then you're going to come back from here and go ahead and like sit back and lift your leg up here. Okay. Lift your leg back and we're going to do kind of a recovery from the outside in. So that's one and then the other side in two, right? We're gonna do 10 total. So up, belly tucked, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, bring the leg down. Go ahead and um, grab your shin and rock on your back. Do it a couple times. One more time. Okay, so go ahead and get into an S mount. My, your hand on the mat, you're going to roll and come to your belly here. All right, so from here, we're just going to sit back, right, and sit up. And from here, you want to um, you want to go ahead and um, we're gonna come up, right? So look, I like. I mean, it really depends on your. You know, some people sit with their flat foot, but I it you could do that from flat foot here, right? Leaning, coming. So basically, you're gonna come up and leaning your weight here. Right, as you lift this leg up, you're gonna lean, boom, make this leg light, boom, come up, and then lean your weight to this side to make that leg light, right? I, I prefer to have my foot kickstand so you could do whatever you want. So, and with this, while you're doing this, I want you to be really mindful of that you don't want to lean forward too much. You wanna kinda imagine there's like a glass right between you and when you do this you kind of um, want to 
not go past the, the glass will keep you from going forward so good posture you can have your hands in front of you if you want right here and so you're gonna come up boom and boom and then go back the same way you come down right so do yeah do that uh, uh, 10 total five per side Good. Boom, boom, back. It helps to look up towards the ceiling. You keep your posture. Boom, boom. You can switch your leg out too. First one side step first and then the other side switch. All right, do we have that? Okay, um, another drill, uh, we're gonna do all this drill and then and I'm gonna incorporate into like a technique, right? So another drill is you're gonna sit, I like, boom, sit here. And this is um, just a, a drill, so you're gonna pretend you're gonna come to your shoulder here, right? And your hand is out in front and you go ahead and, um, Try, try to stay center as much as possible. From here, you're gonna pendulum your leg, boom, right? Look, you're gonna pendulum your leg and then pull the second leg. So you will face in here. And you're gonna end up facing here, right? So do 10 uh, total, so boom. Try to do like five on each side, right? So boom, you're gonna go flip and then recover and then go back, flip. And along your leg and then recover. Right? So do yep. Do you have do you have a question, Jackie? Yeah, I got the beginning, but I, I think I missed the end. Oh, okay. So look. So I'm gonna go pretending um I got the head. I'm gonna flip right my right leg and then I'm gonna retract my left leg so that I square it up. All right, so I flip onto my hip. Yeah, good. Yeah, try to keep your chest squared up and not lift up too much, right? Doing that. All right. So another one is you're you're gonna have um, basically one leg inside a posted leg, and that same shoulder comes to the side, and you're imagining that you're um, kind of right on a lounge position like this and boom right so you're here boom and you want to think about really putting your hip pressure your um, so the two points tension that you're trying to create right while you're doing this and you're moving around is your hips pushing towards your elbow and your elbow pushing towards your hip, right? So that's tight tension. And you're gonna kind of move around, boom, with that, move around, boom, 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 right? So go ahead and, um, and uh, do that just for, and then switch, yeah, move around, feel comfortable. So you really wanna think about like the hips pushing in towards the elbow and the elbow pushing towards, right, your hips. Imagining that in between is your opponent's hip. So you're keeping it, you're controlling it, right? Good, go ahead and switch on to the other side. All 
All right, so you're now, you're gonna add this component where you actually are doing that. Your hand could, you know, be here. Um, you could be really thinking about um, here staying low and your hand is holding their lapel. So your hand could be, you can mimic a grip and bringing the elbow close to your, um, um, to your uh, hip here, right? And you're staying low here. You don't want to be up high. Elbow staying low and kind of facing. And you're moving with that tension, the elbow and hip moving, moving, moving around. It's a drill. And then, and then do that a few times, right? Forward, backward, boom, boom. And then now you're going to go and square it up. Boom, boom. You're going to square it up. So it would be, uh, it would be, right tension boom boom moving moving around because when you're in side control your opponent will not accept that they're going to be moving around and then once they kind of it's higher or whatever you're going to go boom recover into right chest to chest so i want you right now we're going to do that with a pillow or whatever um, that you have but i want you to mimic that movement first right so here you're moving with the tension, boom, here, back, boom, boom, and then go ahead and look, the post leg goes down onto the mat, boom, and then you lift the bottom leg and you come into a square, chest to chest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll get a chance to do it with your dummy. I just want you to get the concept of like how to move around, yeah, good. So we're gonna do a sequence, right? Whew. Hot, hot, hot. Good, yep. Move, move, move. I want you to think about the elbow and the hips, right? Kind of leaning your hips towards your elbows. Good. All right, good job. Oh my God. Go ahead and uh, take a sip of water and um, I am going to make the drill that we've been drilling into uh, a technique. I'm going to run to the restroom. So I'll be right back. So um, go ahead and grab a dummy. If you have a dummy, if you don't have a dummy, go ahead and grab your gi and a pillow. All right. Okay, so I, um, I, um, Michelle and Jennifer was at the Hanette um, class, and um, so I am gonna borrow one of her um, tech, a uh, couple of her techniques, but I'm gonna kind of make it my my own, right? So I really like the fact that um, she uses a gi without, you know, for those, um, and it's kind of applicable, right? You can you you could do it with your dummy or you could do it with a gi here. So we're gonna do a stand up, a pass, and attack today, okay? So we're gonna um, imagine that we're in our partner's guard here, right? And the first grip you wanna do is you're gonna uh, do a collar um, lapel grip. So you, I hold both of the lapel and I grip and I'm gonna punch, 
right at the sternum here. Boom. Right. I don't want to go straight arm. I want to kind of have my elbow out. Right. And punch. And then the other grip, right. And you're going to grab the sleeve here. Um, and you're going to punch the sleeve under, right. You want to punch the sleeve under and high, high. Cause otherwise if you have it here, they could, um, you know, there's ways that they can, you know, um, kind of get, 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 uh, release the grip. So I like to grab here, right? And I'm gonna punch it under where that is. So whatever the side that you have the grip, you're gonna step first, right? So I like to kind of, I'm not stepping forward like this. I'm kind of stepping to the side a little bit, my foot to the side. And then I need, right? And I wanna think about, again, I'm not leaning too much forward. I wanna think about there's a glass here, right? The reason, being because if you lean too much forward your partner's legs are really powerful they could pull you down so you want to be boom solid here and pretend like you know there's a glass there and you can't go past the glass. you have to have like good solid and what helps me a lot is to look up right boom here i'm going to step from the same side um, arm here and then i'm going to lean towards that leg and then i'm going to squat a lot of times it's really like squatting and then from here when I stand up, look, I'm gonna boom, let go of the of the um, lapel, and I bring the sleeve up to, and I I put, I rest my my forearm on my thighs because it helps, right? With the um, to kind of help me instead of my, just my my arm doing most of the work, it's my arm and my thighs um, kind of shelving it, and my hips are up, right? Let me adjust this a little bit right and my hips i'm not i'm not like this i'm not like this it's my hip look boom i'm gonna pop my hip forward okay so from here so we're gonna go back down do do um we're gonna do 10 per side right so you uh with i with the dummy it would be here the dumb would be here you're gonna grab boom boom sleeve right good posture you're gonna tuck boom here right can you see it okay tuck here and one leg lean squat and then come all the way up let go all the way up boom i'm gonna pop my hips up like this right and then i'm just gonna come back down boom, boom. and uh i want you to think to also when you come back down come back down in the same way you come up because you kind of want to come back down right boom boom right because there might be a time when you're standing up that you feel uh imbalanced or you feel like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna get sweeped or whatever it's fine to be like up here and then come back down get situated again and then stand up again right so um go ahead and do five per side right so thinking about good posture there's a glass there you can look up and um really coming up shelving and popping it's really important if you do kettlebell it's that popping the hip right so give that a try nice You can do one side or switch one right, left, right, left. Okay, do we have that? Okay, so now, right, you're here, boom, boom, you're here. And up, boom, boom, and you're popping your hips. 
just imagine that they're, you know, they still got a close guard. So that hand's gonna um, go right at the knee. And I like to step this leg, the same leg back and my, my butt goes back, boom. And you're gonna come down to, you know, this is um, Latisse's like uh, signature move basically. Like you're gonna come boom here in a squat and she calls it the public bathroom. So you're gonna come boom, right? Kind of practice a lot of squatting in, in the beginning. So you're, you wanna bring your elbows to your knees and you're here. So once you're here and you break the guard, you can, you know, do, you can go this side, you can do knee slide that side, or you, you can pass on one side or the other, right? You're here. So um, go ahead and do that at, uh, like, I don't know, four times or, or something like that. And then um, we'll go to the pass. So stand up, break the guard, and come into the boom. Yeah. And you want to think about like your your stance like you're not just lazy with the stance you really are pushing you're coming leaning forward and you're really like a pressure putting pressure on their legs right down so your knees are flaring out All right, so the version that Hanette did, she, she kept the sleeve grip, right? So you hear, boom, right, I tuck, boom, boom. She kept the, the sleeve grip, she comes down, and her passes, you bring you know, I would pull and bring the elbow, boom, to my hip here. And the, the pass is, I'm gonna go in that direction. So I am gonna collapse my knees, right? Boom, on, let me. So that's the sleeve. I'm gonna go and trap, right, the thigh here. And this hand, right, is gonna go boom, cross face here. And then I'm gonna, um, Stay really close, right? Really close, and I'm gonna pendulum, boom, my leg in, in the same way as that drill, right? So, I hope everybody can see. Let me know if you're having trouble seeing. So, you ended up here, right? So, without the, with the sleeve, you ended up, boom, here. So you're gonna go collapse over the thigh. Make sure you have the other leg up, right? Um, it prevents them doing a half guard. It prevents them to easily sweep you and you have a solid base there. And then you're gonna grab the head here. And look, this now post leg is gonna go boom back. So I'm in this position now, boom, I'm gonna go boom. And we did that drill, right? So from here, I would uh, let go of the sleeve, come to underhook, and then come to side control. So it looks like this. I'm here, boom, trap, uh, here, boom. And I'm gonna let go, go underhook, and then go ahead and, right, get into side, side control. Does that make sense? So um, do five, five per side. Good, Michelle.
All right. All right. So I just want to, you know, typically I um, taught when you're down here to really kind of hear. And when I do this, I typically boom and I grab the pants here versus keeping, right? But um, this is the version that Annette was doing. But usually I grab the pants here, boom. And I go boom and boom, right? So there's different variations. I just want to make a note of that. So now that you're in side control, you know, more often than not, uh, people are not going to accept. They're going to go really, you know, try to like escape, blah, blah, blah. It's really hard to like maintain, I don't know about you, but it's really hard to maintain side control when you're here, right? It's, it, it's it, the pushing and the moving, blah, blah, blah. A lot of times I will switch over to this kind of lounge position that we just learned. And I'm going to grab the same collar here, my elbow here, my head is down. And I'm, I want to think about really like jujitsu more and more, the more I am um, learning is really, you think about like, oh, it's uh, the ultimate is really like the, uh, it's mostly about like submissions. It's really not. It's about like you, it's about control over your opponent really like you can't do anything unless you have the technique down and you control your opponent right that's that's the 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 most important rule and then from there you can transitions or you could do attack right but if you don't have control you try to do uh transitions or attack more often than not we're going to lose the position so it's really like i mean you know kind of like um um learning a lot about that so a lot of times when I'm here, it's, it's really difficult. I feel like I have more control if I switch my base a little bit and think about like controlling their hips here. So we're gonna do that move that we just did earlier. So you wanna put your elbow kind of like where their hips are, right? And then um, you wanna uh, put your hips at their hips, but you're kind of leaning, putting the weight, right? So you're singeing like, like the drill I have you guys think about cinching your elbow and your hips and you're leading, putting your hip pressure on their hip and you're singeing, right? And I like to come low and look at my foot. I'm here and I'm holding this and I'm here. Boom, boom. Usually you can, you know, ride that out and they're gonna, uh, you know, initially like bucking and trying to escape. Uh, and then usually if you stay here long, uh, long enough, they're going to get exhausted. And I think about like, oh my God, you know, like, um, now protecting, uh, from attacks and stuff like that. So initially you want to control and you really want to think about the hips, right? Again, you're going to come up. Your hips should not be on the ground. They should be like riding on top of them, right? Boom here. And you're going to go, so go ahead with your, um, pillow or your, Dummy, go ahead and walk around with that, right? Just learning side control position. Yeah, Amy. Ooh, I can I feel sorry for that, dummy. Yep, singeing that elbow on your hips, like pressing. Yep, you want to limit as, as much space for them and mobility for them, right? Do people, everybody's doing great. Do people have like a second gi now? We're gonna do like uh, ch chokes with um, gis. Do you have a second gi? I don't have that much time. We're gonna do just one, I think. So put on your gi. Soon, honey, I'm gonna need you. Uh, yeah, it's okay. So I have my niece who is generously waiting to be the dummy because I don't know. I'm gonna see um, if I. I'm gonna show it on this, but I'm gonna see if I could choke my niece. <laughs> oh, and she's been sitting there waiting. Um, so okay. 
So now that they are tired, whatever, and now you're ready to like um, go for attack. Usually the hands will be up here, right? Um, pushing you. So you're gonna go boom here and bring your, square your chest up here, right? So the first one um, is uh, before we go into like how, how to do that, let's um, do the choke first. So it's the, so when I'm squaring up, there's lapel that's close to their head and my lapel close to their leg. It's the lapel that's closest to their head right here. You're gonna put it under, right? First of all, you're gonna grab the end of the lapel and hide the end like this, like in a fist, boom. Right? Yeah, you're gonna hide and you, um, the, the choke is this. You're gonna bring your arm, you're gonna come like un, um, uh, cross face here with the lapel here, right? And then you're gonna l let the head slide and come with your forearm and then open your, your, your elbow, right? So let me see. Heidi, can I borrow you? Okay, come on. You don't wanna do it? Okay, she changed her mind. But you guys got this? I don't blame you, honey. <laughs> okay, so basically, right, the lapel here, I'm gonna take it high the end, right, like a fist, and I'm gonna come like here, right? And then what I'm gonna do is, um, they're, escaping and I'm gonna put the head in between here, right? And now my forearm will go under their chin here. So under the chin and then you're gonna open your elbow up, boom. Does that make sense? Does everybody? So do that a couple times, cause that's the, the choke. So here you're gonna boom, come here, right? And then you're gonna go boom and then open. And to even make it more gnarly, right? You're gonna turn and face them, boom, like this, boom. And now it's like your whole weight, boom, leaning forward. Yes? All right, so uh, we kind of are running out of time, but I'll, I'll, I'll show it and then we're gonna do it again next week then. Uh, and I'm gonna show the second one next week. So we're here right? We come chest to chest here. What I'm going to do is I am going to distract my partner by putting my head here right in between, boom, and putting a lot of pressure. And I'm going to go ahead and um, turn a little bit and grab my, my lapel, right? And I'm going to grab at the end, right? And I don't want, usually we go like, we typically learn like this and we go and your partner sees what's going on. So this is a little bit sneaker, like you get the tip and you're grabbing the key and then you're gonna go pretend like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go back, right? And your hand is there. Does that make sense? So now you're back to square and you have that grip here. And what you wanna do is you wanna kinda like use your shoulder, right? And put the pressure, it's really uncomfortable where you're making them feel like I gotta escape. And you're gonna pretend like you're, you know, so it's more like baiting versus like trying to grab the, the submission. So I'm gonna put, uh, shoulder pressure on the head and then I'm gonna open my elbow they're gonna really want to escape and when they escape I'm gonna swing the arm around right swing the arm around boom and I get the choke and then I can even turn and then put the whole my whole weight forward does that make sense so come so you're here you're squaring up boom and you put your head on the other side of their head Boom, come and grab the tip of your lapel and then go back chest to chest here. Right, chest to chest and then now shoulder pressure on the head, boom. And you're gonna open the elbow and let them escape and then your arm will swing around. You're gonna open your elbow, turn your hips to face their head and then lean your weight towards. Give that a try a few times. How come you won't let me try?
All right, couple more times. All right. Wow, it went times went really fast. Does anybody have any questions? No, that was great. Oh, good. All right, let's do um, 10, 10 burpees to end the class. <laughs> All right, let's go on your mark. Get set, go. I need one, two, All right. Yay. Good job, everyone. Good job, little assistant. <laughs> that was fun. Like, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. Everybody have a good evening. I'll see you hopefully on Thursday. Coach Molly. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.